What's up, what's up, what's up to my game? What's up to my squad? It's Slum back with another muck. Bang! And today, as y'all can see by the title, I'm about to bring to y'all Keisha Lee's Baby Shower Tray, a.k.a. Baby Shower Food, a.k.a. The Slap Bussin'. Everything she got right here is what is going to be at a baby shop, right? So we got pasta salad, we got deviled eggs, we got green beans, we got, I think it's either a ham or a turkey sandwich in the back here. Okay. Then we got, we got meatballs, we got baked beans, we got yams, we got fried chicken, we got macaroni and cheese, baby. Okay. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Just just spend all day in it, you hear me? <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we're gonna get into this bite. We're gonna get into this prayer, then we're gonna get into this bite. Y'all buy your heads. Oh, before y'all buy your heads, if this is your first time on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you leave a comment down below. So I know y'all came by to see me. Slum, drop another muck. Bang! Oh y'all ass. You hear me? So let's get into this prayer, then we get into this bite. Hope y'all been blessed. Bye, it. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us to this day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, dear Lord. Thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Let it be a nourishment for my body. Bless people that are without. Again, what they stand in need of, dear God. And everything else that anybody else may need, dear God, be with them. Show them real unconditional love, dear God, because you are love. Lord, I just want to praise you. I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done, that you're doing, that you're going to do for me, dear God. And continue to bless the people that's attached to me, that's of you, dear God. And attach anything that's not of you from me, dear Lord. Continue to guide my footsteps and be the light in my life, dear God. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. I ask this prayer to be done in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right. So you get a full tray of all these items right here. And obviously you get a fork and you get a juice. She got a juice to go with it, okay? All right. So let's get into this bite. I got, and y'all know I got my two times spicy, okay? So let's do it. Mm. Boss. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, no, I ain't ate all day. I've been waiting on this, babe. You okay? I should have given you a piece of that. Um, that's the green beans. Mmm. Mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Devil egg. Get that, get that, get that. Mm. It is sexy. It is sexy. Keisha Lee. Mm-hmm. That good old fried chicken, babe. Y'all see it. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I got some Lean Stop Ranch on the side. It's time for the pasta salad. It's time for the pasta salad. It's time for the pasta salad. Oh, the pasta salad. The best pasta salad I ever had in my life. <sighs> and I ain't boosting. This is real. I'm gonna put all her description in the description box below. Y'all can go check her out, go order if you live in Virginia. Y'all can have all of it. You feel me? Hey, take it out. Look. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Y'all know anybody that having a baby, baby shower plate, you ain't gotta be having a baby, get the baby shower plate, okay? Baby shower plate. That way you can get all this what I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Is her bussin'? Shit, bitch. Y'all know this though. Y'all knew shit, bitch, because I did her food twice. Ain't nothing new. Y'all just make sure y'all go order so y'all can try it. Usually her trays are twenty five dollars each. Sometimes she'll have a sale on it, depending on the weekend or the day or whatever. But usually, you know what I'm saying. It's good prices for all this food. And like I said, you're getting a whole lot of food in one tray, one big tray. I guess, and she puts it like in a um a oven safe tray so that you can be able to put it in the oven and heat it up. You feel me? It's buzzing though. As a drink, we got some Welch's. So good. Okay. Green. Baked beans. Oh, y'all see the baked bean, babe. Come on. Everything, 10 out of 10. Shot Duh. All this food in one sitting, you the goat. You you can be able to share this with two people. Share this with somebody else. If not, you a good eater. Meatballs bussin'. Bussin' meatballs. So I know y'all seen this TikTok, bam. The house already sent it through. 
And now they're waiting on Congress, huh? To pass it. So that, you know, they can get rid of TikTok. They're going to get rid of TikTok. But if they're going to get rid of TikTok, they might as well get rid of everything. Because eh? ain't these other um companies from different places too? They say TikTok from China. Ain't that where everything from? Ain't our clothes made from China? Ain't some of our silver silverware made from China? All this stuff made from China, but y'all want to ban TikTok. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, baby. Two times rich. My thing is, if y'all are going to ban TikTok, you might as well ban everything else. Mm. Ain't nothing from the U.S. these days, and they ain't been. U.S. been um not just taking stuff, but hey, halfway. Most of all our stuff from China though, from other these, you know, these other foreign countries, so it's like make it make sense. Bustin'. Bussin, bussin, bussin. But they terrible for that. Cause there's so many people out here that's living, they making a living off TikTok. Like that's their job. That's their job. That's their whole job. And you just gonna mess up people's livelihood like that. Mm. So the people that got famous off of TikTok and stuff like that, now if they ban TikTok, they ain't gonna have no type of income. Unless they made a YouTube and they, they got the same, you know, algorithm and, 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 and subscribers and fans as they do on TikTok, then they can, you know, then they go on the YouTube. But sometimes people have different things that puts them out there. So some people have more followers and subscribers, whatever like that, on one platform more than they do the other, right? And then sometimes, you know, people have more followers and stuff on their TikTok than they do their YouTube or their Instagram, you know what I'm saying? You would think it all balances out, but sometimes it don't work like that. Like me, I'll get more views on my TikTok than I do on this year YouTube. And it don't matter how many times I be telling these people on TikTok to go over to my YouTube, it's like I do get more subscribers, but it's just like I still don't get them views that I be getting from TikTok. Like my TikTok be blowing, Charlotte. All I got to do is tag the person that I'm doing the food review for. And nine times out of ten, they'll hit me back. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, they'll hit me back. And they'll tag me on their thing or whatever. And, you know, it'll make me, it'll make me get more views because they, they got me tagged, you know, with them. Like, they'll repost my video. You know, or they'll, or we'll do like a collab where it'll boost me to get more views because if I'm in a, let's say I'm in a collaboration with Popeyes, now, now it's being reached to a larger audience. Now I'm getting more views because Popeyes wanted to do a collaboration with me, but it has, they have to want to do a collaboration with you in order for you to get more views. But what I'm saying is, can't do that on YouTube, man. 
You can do that on TikTok, though. There's a lot of things you can do on other platforms than you can on the other one. You know what I'm saying? And that's just stupid how they want to take TikTok away now. When TikTok the men here for the longest now, you might as well let it keep going. If we're giving everything back that's made in China, we might as well get every, give everything back that we got up in, in our houses and outside and everything else. That's crazy to me. That's crazy, shorty. The U.S. got more to worry about than some damn TikTok. And another thing, people love Biden, right? Some people don't. But since he's been there, what he really done for, for real, for real? Somebody answer me that. Since he's been there, when is, what has he really done for us? I'm not a Republican. I say I'm liberal, but I'm just a free person. But that's not to say that I don't care about what's going on in the world and all that. Because obviously I live by laws just like everybody else, regardless of if I'm a liberal or not. But at least Trump have everybody out. I'm going to just say that, though. He might be an a-hole, he might be a jackass, but at the end of the day, and he might talk to people any kind of way. But, he helped us out though. Cause Trump gave us stimulus checks and stuff, right? A lot of us, a lot of uh, a lot of us people, humans out here, is actually going through it every day. You know what I'm saying? We don't get aided. We don't get government assistance. We don't get things like that. You feel what I'm saying? We don't get uh, EBT and things of that nature, etc., etc., etc. Right? So we really going through it, right? And Trump, you know, when it was COVID and all that, he was just sending out checks, checks, checks. Look, the COVID is it still ain't going nowhere. People still catching COVID to this day. So why is we not getting breaked off with something to help us get through these 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 times? You know what I'm saying? This inflation period and all that. They making it hard for us to live, period, because now you got the interest rate on houses about a seven percent. Went from a three point five to a seven percent. If you have a fixed home interest rate then it's not gonna move but if you were in a, in a community where the where you don't have a fixed rate and all that that jump about to boost up you know what i'm saying it goes to a seven percent it's like it makes it hard for the bu people to buy and it and it makes it hard for people to sell because of the high interest rate that you have in the inflation period right now you feel what i'm saying so it's like it's hard to live out here. Groceries is high as hell. Ain't everybody got food stamps. It's hard to live. You know what I'm saying? Interest rate high. Then that means the price of mortgages is going up as well. You get what I'm saying? So it's just hard out here for everybody. You know? It's hard out here for everybody, man. That's 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 just the 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 bottom line. It's hard out here. So what has Biden done? He ain't cut us no check in the in the in the checks that Trump cut us. We ain't have to even pay them back. I didn't have to pay them back. I didn't have to pay the fifteen hundred back, the twelve hundred back, the six hundred back. I ain't pay none of that back. No, I didn't. So if y'all said that we had to pay that shit back, no, 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 we did. Who was y'all that had to pay it back? And I don't got no children, so it's like I don't have a, I don't get a, t a child tax credit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. You know. 
I don't really want Trump in there either because, you know, he might be a good businessman, but he ain't really a good person. He a good businessman. He good with money, good with money figures, you know what I'm saying? But just because you're good with money and money figures don't make you a good person to lead the country. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of division when it comes to Trump. You know, he don't really give a damn about his own kind either. He don't care about nobody but himself, to be honest, and how his business is booming. You feel me? But as far as it is for the country, I mean give back to the community and stuff like that. I mean, he was helping us out when he when he said when he cashed them when he put them direct deposits in there. You know, that's all I'm saying. But I also heard that Michelle Obama was thinking about running for president, so I don't know what we got going on. But hopefully it's better than what we got in there right now. You know, then Biden say something about uh all the the debt that people got in college debt and all that did more didn't he say he's gonna pay that did he do that i you know i don't have none of that college debt but did he do that what did he do what is he doing you know but being prehistoric what is he really doing but just standing up there on the podium what is he really doing you know what i'm saying what president are we gonna have in there that's going to really make some like going to make it easier for the economy to thrive and not stay in this inflation period. You know, I know y'all got to talk to all these foreign countries and stuff like that. But like, come on, man. Get it together. For real. It shouldn't be that hard. At all. It should not be that hard. Bank beans in them. I'm gonna stay here. I fell into them. But there's a lot of food, man. Like I said, it's usually 25 for a tray. Sometimes she'll um, go up, sometimes she'll go down, depending on how much food she's offering in the tray. And depending on what day it is, weekend, or holiday, or whatever like that. She'll hook you up. For sure, for sure, for sure. But it's definitely busting a 10 out of 10, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this little quick mukbang review, food review for Keisha Lee, baby shower food plate slash tray. All right. Like I said, I'm going to post all her information down below in the description box below. Make sure y'all go follow her on all platforms. Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And TikTok. She got that as well. So before they ban us. Make sure y'all go follow her on all platforms. Y'all put y'all food orders in, okay? She's always making something new. She always got something going on. And she does catering. So if you need her to cater anything, you live in Virginia. And you live in Virginia. And I don't know if she travels, but you can ask those questions. All you got to do is just hit her up. Ask those questions and see if she will travel to you. If you are out of state, you probably got to come up with the money for it. But I'm pretty sure she would not mind that as well. Okay? This is some amazing food. Thank you, Keisha Lee. You did a banging job like always. Everything was a 10 out of 10. Everything. From the chicken to the yams to the grit to the baked beans, the meatballs, the, the little sandwich in the back. Green beans and, and special the pasta salad, y'all. I love some good old pasta salad. Oh my God. That's like the, one of the best pasta I've ever, it is one, it's like the, the best pasta I've ever tasted in my life. Okay? It was perfect. Nothing to add, nothing to change, nothing, nothing. For the whole trade, nothing. It was, it was busting. 10 out of 10. I hope y'all enjoyed it though. And I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Happy St. Patrick's Day weekend. St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. I'm gonna have my green, you know what I mean? Be out and about, you know what I mean? So, when y'all see me, y'all see the hair, you better not pinch me. 
I might punch your ass back where you pinch me at. I'm not playing with y'all. Nah, I'm just playing, but don't do it, for real. But yeah, y'all be safe out here. There's cops everywhere, roadblocks and stuff going on. Road stock, roadblock. You know, they thinking people gonna be, you know, drinking and driving and things like that nature. If you got a DD, let the, let that DD drive. If it doesn't need a driver, have an Uber, get a Lyft, get whatever. Do not drink and drive, y'all. It's not worth it at all. It's not worth it. But that is my time. Y'all make sure. If this is your first time on my channel, you hit that like button and subscribe button, which is that red button. Hit that bell notification too, so you'll be more or notified every time I'm about to drop a banger or drop a new thing on my channel, gang. Okay? I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Till the next time we may eat, till the next time we vlog, till the next time we may talk, till the next time we may do whatever. It's slum. I love y'all. Thanks again, Keisha Lee, for your amazing food. Thank you, love. I appreciate you. Appreciate it to the utmost. It really filled me up. I am full. I can't get them all. Okay. So I'm good to go. Thank y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure y'all leave a comment down below how y'all think the food look. How y'all, you know, if y'all going to go order some or whatever. All right. Y'all be safe out there. Keep your head up and, and stay on that straight and narrow path. I love y'all, man. Till next time. Slump. Out. Hey. It's just annoying me And I'm too about it And the dirt that they do on my name Turn to soil and I grew about it Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gonna do about it Big wheels keep rolling, rolling I'm outside 29 G5 Seaside I've been losing friends and finding peace But honestly that sounds like a fair trade to me If I ever heard one and I'm still here outside